So the 600i with uh, three uh, 85s on it that smoked a hammerhead in about 30 seconds. No, I haven't seen it. It took every round he had in those guns, though. Wow. He just ran. He just flew straight up to it and just face grappled with it and just sat there and just kind of burned the entire magazine of all three into it. And just as he was starting to run out of ammo, boom, it popped. Wow. Mm. What wow. video was that? It was on YouTube. I can't remember the name. It's only like a minute long. Mm. Dang. I got to try them. The thing is, like, I've been avoiding ballistics for so long man i haven't like it's like i forget how good they are you know but if they have this kind of this if they have decent ammo count i'm definitely down to try and get so yeah they definitely have to add the other uh, ammo count they was talking about um allowing the the ammo to be reloaded after yes. you didn't get the ship up somewhere and you could just reload but that should be a thing that should be done automatically. I don't see why you have to exit out of your ship, grab an ammo box, and load the weapon. That's you how know, it was I, before. Right. It's supposed to be your automatic reload. As long as yeah. you have the ammo on, on your ship, the ship should recognize it and yeah. reload the gun. Yeah. I don't see why they have to do all this extra... I mean, I guess I, I get it. They're, they're, they're trying to balance things out, you know, but still, they need to add more ammo to it, man. Yeah, they definitely need to add more of the ammo. More ammo. What they need to do is they need to have they need to have the ready pack that's already on the gun, right? The ammo supply for the gun. Mm -hmm. And then you carry uh, inside in the ship, you have ready ammo bays and mm -hmm. when you exhaust the ammunition from the right. loaded gun mm -hmm. then it takes maybe two minutes and it like uh conveyor systems inside the ship go back grab the mm -hmm. next box of ammo brings it up and loads it into the gun and reloads the right. gun and right. they could make that you know uh, the idea is to to keep them to cut to cut down on their ability in pvp right to nerf them yeah. and just just do that and so between pve missions you're reloading the guns so yeah. uh that would that would discourage pvp you know they wouldn't be so awesome in pvp because they would run out of ammo and it takes yeah. too long to reload them in a pvp fight yeah. but uh in pve and doing stuff like that you can just reload them between fights two fights right right and then yeah it should be a slot where you could you could put let's say two two additional mags you know this way you can constantly reload when you need it because well, they, we have they could use like that real life that does that yeah, yeah they could what they could do is they could use missile racks that are ammo racks mm. and that's what they're used for so instead of carrying you take the missile rack off there and you put the ammo rack on and then you could purchase ammo like if it's a size three rack then you can mm -hmm. carry more ammo on it right yeah. and you, you purchase boxes of maybe you know uh, 250 rounds mm -hmm. and a size three could carry like four of those while mm -hmm. a size one could only carry like two God, and, right. and it, so if you, you want to strip off ammo. all of your missile racks you know and just yeah. replace all your racks with yeah. ammo racks and you could have a shit ton mm -hmm. of ammo on your ship that's a good idea Especially with, with the fact that they did mention they want to have ammo types. I, I yeah, don't know. I don't know if they. Yes. And, right. And, and uh, uh, high explosives. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or in center, incinerary rounds, tracer rounds. Yeah. Uh, you can also have I mean, different types of ammunition for tracker where you shoot they they stick to the hull of the Welcome ship for tracking the device right. system. yeah they can come up with all different types of uh different ideas but i think that they should have different ammo types it, 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 at the very least armor piercing and incinerary mm -hmm. rounds yeah yeah, yeah. i agree 
the armor piercing wouldn't do so much hit point damage as it would do it would hit components yeah. so mm. pirates would want to use armor piercing to immobilize components like shut destroy mm. your engines so that their legionnaire can then attack you and get right. get a boarding party on board yeah right but see that comes with the user interface right where you could have it so where you can target those systems because I know in Indeed Dangerous there is a system where you can you can target the power plant you can target the shield generator yeah. you can you target the various components and things yeah. of that nature so if they can if they can get that user interface up Welcome and running to the you know, ASOC vehicle retrieval that, system then, that'd be justifiable well, you wouldn't need a legionnaire then. Then you just fly up and blow the doors off the hangar bay or the cargo bay, and it's then EVA over. Didn't they talk about those handheld devices that you put on the, 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 the rocks and stuff? That they will also use those as explosives? Beaching charges? C4? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Did yeah. they talk about that as well? Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a thing. And I think that's that's gonna be even a part of the whole boarding thing with the um there's gonna be devices inside of the legionnaire. So you're gonna have slots for devices, so like explosive devices. If you wanna reach, you have to use an explosive device, right? Yeah. 